Welcome. Now you will have a moment of reflection and inspiration in a special devotional designed to prepare your heart and mind for the blessings that the new day offers. Then we will say a powerful morning prayer together to start your day with purpose and gratitude. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp. Hebrews 13:13. 13, 13, Jesus bearing his cross went forth to suffer without the gate. The Christian's reason for leaving the camp of the world's sin and religion is not because he loves to be singular, but because Jesus did so, and the disciple must follow his master. Christ was not of the world. His life and his testimony were a constant protest against conformity with the world. Never was such overflowing affection for men as you find in him, but still he was separate from sinners. In like manner, Christ's people must go forth unto him. They must take their position without the camp as witness bearers for the truth. They must be prepared to tread the straight and narrow path. They must have bold, unflinching, lion-like hearts, loving Christ first and his truth next, and Christ and his truth beyond all the world. Jesus would have his people go forth without the camp for their own sanctification. You cannot grow in grace to any high degree while you are conformed to the world. The life of separation may be a path of sorrow, but it is the highway of safety. And though the separated life may cost you many pangs and make every day a battle, yet it is a happy life after all. No joy can excel that of the soldier of Christ. Jesus reveals himself so graciously and gives such sweet refreshment that the warrior feels more calm and peace in his daily strife than others in their hours of rest. The highway of holiness is the highway of communion. It is thus we shall hope to win the crown if we are enabled by divine grace faithfully to follow Christ without the camp. The crown of glory will follow the cross of separation. A moment's shame will be well recompensed by eternal honor. A little while of witness bearing will seem nothing when we are forever with the Lord. Now I want you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, who art in the highest heavens, yet close to the brokenhearted, we come before you today seeking the courage and grace to follow Jesus outside the camp. In a world that often values conformity over conviction, help us to stand firm in our faith, bearing witness to the truth with bold, unflinching hearts. Lord Jesus, you endured the cross, despising its shame, to offer us salvation. Teach us to carry our own crosses, to live lives marked by holy separation from sin and worldliness. May our journey outside the camp not be one of loneliness, but of deep communion with you, where every struggle brings us closer to your heart and every trial is an opportunity to testify to your grace. Holy Spirit, empower us to walk the narrow path with joy, for we know the road of sanctification is the road to true freedom. In our moments of doubt and temptation, remind us of the eternal glory that awaits, that we might endure as you endured, with eyes fixed on the prize of your heavenly kingdom. Grant us, O God, the peace that surpasses understanding as we live out our calling, and may our lives be a living sacrifice pleasing to you. Though the path of separation may be strewn with challenges, let each step we take outside the camp be a step closer to you, till the day we are forever united with our Lord in glory. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. If you are blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you, and in the name of Jesus, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, 
we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.